Okay? Some guys like to sit on a heel. Some guys like to put their toes up. Some guys like to kind of sit sideways on their hip. Okay? I was always a guy. I wanted to stay square. So I'm going to keep my heels underneath me. Okay? I'm going to sit back like this so I can rock on my hips. I come to that center line. Okay? I try to keep everything in plane. All right? So that way, as soon as the whistle blows, whoop, I'm here. Just like Coach was talking about, I'm keeping everything tight. All right? I don't want to let him work in on anything. I want to block every attempt he has. And if I'm a heavyweight, we're probably not going to be moving as much as a lighter weight. So if you're a lighter weight, you've got to think, in this position, I'm going to have a little less time than Coach Knapp is probably thinking. Okay, so you're here, okay? I can fight hands from here. Guy tries to tight waist ankle, he can't get it. I can peel tight waist. I can attack hands from all, all from this position. All right, he's blocked off. You also have to be able to keep a big chest in this situation. Because a lot of times, okay, you come up, you're fighting hands, you're looking for a hip heist or a knee slide, something to come out, okay? That guy's barreling down on you, all right? You, you've got to be able, that's where the weight room comes in handy. That's where your push-ups come in handy. Because you've got to be able to withstand the attack. So I'm here, I'm fighting hands. He can claw, peeling the claw. He can try to come underneath and hook an arm. I'm peeling that hook. Nowhere in here does he have an opening, okay? He can't attack my legs, he can't attack my upper body, all right? This is where your feel comes in. This is where live wrestling and drilling comes in because now you're starting to feel, okay? I feel him, okay, he's pressuring, he's pushing, he's pushing, all right? So I'm coming off the whistle. My, my base is a little different. I'm not starting like this with an arch towards the mat. I'm keeping my arch here like a turtle, okay? And the reason is, boop, whistle blows, now I've created space, all right? And as a heavyweight, that was really important because you didn't <laughs> want that guy tight on you. So I'm turtled here, whistle blows, boop, okay? And that's just a millisecond. It's a fraction of a second to create some space. Whistle blows, I'm here, okay? Leg comes up. Now, Coach Gronenbaugh, last time I was here, showed a really great variation where you put the knee or the foot a little further than the knee so that way you can't get driven forward. Me. I was all about, I'm headed this way, you're coming with me, whether you like it or not. So I'm here, clear the arm, catch the waist arm. Okay, a lot of guys forget the waist arm is your biggest enemy on bottom sometimes. Guys are laying on their belly, you hear your coaches screaming, peel the waist arm, peel the waist arm. Well, that's because that, that's what's anchoring you to the bottom. So you come up, okay, I'm in the turtle shell, create a little space, come up, all right, I've caught the waist arm, I've cleared here, he can't chop me back. Now, I roll that toe up underneath. All right, he's pressuring into me. He's trying to return me. He's working his top offense. I pivot up off that foot, okay? And like Coach Picard showed, now I have the wrist. Instead of cutting out where he can just follow me, okay, I keep that wrist and I cut inside. There's your one every time, boom. Come down, I'm sitting on my heels because I don't want to allow for him to tight waist ankle. I don't want to allow for him to attack my legs. And this also works if you've got a guy who likes to throw in the boots, likes to run legs, okay? Off the whistle, you know he's trying to sink that anchor. I'm here, I'm catching. Now I've caught his leg, all right? I've got his leg, I start praying, I, I apply pressure, I come out the back door. But that's something we'll work on after the statement. So basically, I'm here, okay? I've got a little curl in my back, create some space off the whistle, boop, I'm here. All right, pressure back into that toe. All right, now I'm keeping the wrist. You've worked so hard, you've got his wrist, keep it. Okay, cut face, okay? Or cut face, and you're here. All right, keep contact, work your offense from there. But for right now, coming up, it's three stages. Okay, you're here, you're in your base, you're sitting on your heels, you've got everything protected. You go, okay. Second whistle, pressure up. Third whistle, cut face. All right, just real simple stand up, ways to protect yourself. People always say, what's your best stuff from bottom? Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, and stand up. Because if you keep standing up on a guy, and you learn the different ways to counter and get back to your stand-up, you'll always get your one. And why that's so important, as a heavyweight, if I were to give up an early takedown, say I take a shot, he counters me. I'm down two to nothing. I wasn't sweating it, because I knew I could cut that score in half and get back to my offense as soon as I was back on my feet. So let's just go ahead and work the stand-up. Super basic, a little different from what Coach Picard showed. Whatever you want to add to it, Go ahead, but just try to focus on the basics. I've got a slight arch in my back off the whistle, boom, create space. I clear this arm, he can't chop me. Pressure back off that foot, cut face. All right, can we draw it?